Well, hello there, reading fans. Today is September 9th. It is 11 o'clock in the morning in Vernon. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon here in Sudbury, Ontario. Yeah, that's right, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, so... All right, how am I doing? Finished, People of the River. This... I, I liked it. This is my first acquaintance with these authors and it was it was good um the plot was fascinating i have some minor complaints one is that i think that it's more of a fantasy than a historical fiction which of course i don't mind a good deal of the plot centered around a uh, spirit quest of the various medicine people involved in the story of which there are three major characters they're the ones pictured on the front of the book there in sort of ghostly form above the mounds right and um, their quest had real world effects so for that reason i would qualify it as a fantasy or perhaps magical realism good book I could have used a lot less description of what necklaces the friend of the friend of the major warrior who was part of the plot were wearing because that got tedious and slowed down the book after a while and I have to say, um, especially since I was reading this for a reading challenge and my time was limited, it was kind of irritating in that respect. It's a 400 page book. It probably could have been 275 with a little less description going on that didn't, you know, help the plot any at all. But I mean, the plot itself was good and it was a, a really riveting story that held me on the end of my seat for the past or last hundred pages of it. There was a lot of build up to it, but it was good. So, however, I think I'm finished. I'm not going to get the next two done because I am at the Sudbury Dynamic Earth Museum and it goes underground and, and viewing the old mining shafts and stuff and the next tour is in an hour so I am most likely not going to get my Jack White book done today which I did start but yeah it's not likely to happen so I'm going to fill out what's left of my bingo card now. Now I had forgotten when I was doing this yes or the day before yesterday that I was also going to use the secret history of the Mongol Queens for about a place I wanted to visit because I would like to see Mongolia and all the ancient stuff of the Mongol Empire. So We'll be counting that, so I'll do that first. And people of the river counted for has a First Nations protagonist. So then that's 23 out of the 24 entries. And with that, those last two, I have one, two, three more bingos. So that's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten entries for the draw. And that's going to be my final answer. So I'm going to lay that out here and I'm going to take a picture of it with my cell phone. Okay. 
get a couple to make sure it's a good picture. All right, and now go to my email. And looking at the address here on the other side. Sorry, I'm in the way here. VE reference at ORL.bc.ca. All right, compose. VE reference. Just to double check, make sure I got it right. At ORL dot BC dot CA. Subject. Uh, summer reading. Club entry. Okay, so I was going to make a list of the books that I've read, but I don't remember them off the top of my head. I don't have time to look them up right now, so I'm going to do that later. What I said instead was, I've documented my experience in a video log on my YouTube channel. If you need to know the books I've read, my channel name is Sable Aradia. Thanks. And now attach images photos I think there we go and send so there we go I'm finished um, when I'm done looking at the museum later tonight I will give a summary of my different books that I've read and the different experiences I've had. And as always, my reviews will be on Goodreads. And if there's science fiction and fantasy, they will be at worldswithoutend.com. So then just to recap, the books I read were, for published this year, I read All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders, which was also used for has a child as a protagonist and features an animal. For about a place I want to visit, I read The Secret History of the Mongol Queens by Jack Weatherford, which was also good for set in Asia and nonfiction. For Recommended by a Friend, I read Alas Babylon by Pat Frank. For Has a First Nations Protagonist, I read People of the River by Michael Gear and Kathleen O'Neill Gear. For Set in a Place You Have Visited, I read Brown Girl in the Ring by Nalo Hopkinson, which was also good for by a Canadian author. For a book with a one-word title, I read We by Yevgeny Zamyatin, which was also good for in translation. For a graphic novel, I read Biobooster Armor Giver by Yoshiki Tokeya. For About a Journey, I read A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms by George R. R. Martin, which was also good for Set in the Summer. For historical fiction, I read The Mauritius Command by Patrick O'Brien, which was also good for Takes Place on a Boat. For Set in Africa, I read The Return of Tarzan by Arthur Rice Burroughs, which was also good for part of a series. For by an Australian author, I read Needle On by Jennifer Fallon, which was also good for by a female author. Yeah, and last but not least, for a mystery and a funny book, I read Darkly Dreaming Dexter by Jeff Lindsay. I did not succeed at set in the Okanagan or by an Okanagan author.
author, I was maybe an eighth of the way through The Guardian by Jack White when my time limit ran out. So. And that's it for this reading challenge. If you enjoyed these videos and if you would like to see more of this kind of thing as I continue to keep updates on the Worlds Without End science fiction and fantasy reading challenges that I'm doing, then let me know. Please feel free to join our book club at Goodreads, which is the Science Fiction Masterworks Book Club. And you can find me on my blog or Goodreads or at worldswithoutend.com. Thanks for joining me. Bye. <laughs>